Ah, all right. Hello and welcome back to what I think is the last episode. So we will see what will happen. Who will survive? <laughs> the happy couple. Those are the only two that are still alive. Maybe the game is fucking uh, over here. Okay. Guess it's time to see if it's working. What about that helicopter that we saw? What the hell? on its way. Hmm. Interesting. It's, uh, it's not completely I over yet. Thing but... where I was never upset or disappointed. You tell me this crazy bullshit about all the different parallel realities that potentially exist. Now, no matter what, no matter how bad things seemed, there were always at least a couple other realities where things were probably even worse. Well, you're right, little bro. Fucking right. He was an asshole. He was. Honey meant well. No matter what moronic thing he was up to, he always meant well. Today talking it's a about big old puppy dog. Just trying to make everyone laugh. <laughs> yeah, they both miss their brothers. So um found this. Who's fucking driving the boat? <laughs> full speed ahead, but no one is actually controlling it. Yeah, so Brad, Conrad, I couldn't save you guys but I will I will try to do that in a later playthrough but okay pretty cool pretty cool because what happened to the helicopter and stuff. We didn't see that actually happening in the game. We found the, the, the painting that showed us. That's it. Game over. You're done. For now, at least. You could always try again. See if you can't do better next time around. I will. It's not a very happy ending. Or maybe it is. I'm it fine makes with you it. Happy. Really? Um, yeah. I suppose when the curtain falls, you're either ready for it or you're not. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Oh. 
till we meet again, maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah. The ending. I'm pretty pretty happy with the ending anyways because I wanted Brad to survive but I didn't even know when when the fuck he died. Conrad and Fliss, I know I fucked up but Brad, he was just suddenly fucking dead. I didn't understand what happened. Well, what is this that I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me? Well, but yeah, it was a cool game, and there is another game out in the same series, and we will probably try to find that as well and give it a try. I like I like these kind of games, and I like the quick time event. Even if I hate it, I love it. <laughs> it's a, like a love-hate relationship with quick time events. I love the feeling because it's like a stressful. Oh, oh shit! Oh, 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 but I also hate when I'm doing it wrong or screw up, and especially if if it's like game breaking. Sometimes I think these quick time events are a little bit too harsh. Uh, you should be able to fail like one or maybe two buttons, I think, with, without not being too devastating. But sometimes it's so fucking harsh. It's like if you if you fuck up, they will die. But it bumps me a little bit, and I talked about it in the episode before this. I think maybe we could maybe we could have saved Conrad by attacking the demon instead of trying to jump. So yeah, that could have been avoided. And with Fliss, I'm not really sure what happened. I could have maybe told told him to close the door and not. Uh, I don't know why I choose like the panic mode and said not yet. Do not close the door yet. Maybe it was because because maybe closing the door will put her like lock her in. And she really wanted to make it to the other side of the door, so I think, I think maybe not yet was the right decision. At least that was what I was thinking. Because no, do not close it. I need to run there, and then you close it. Uh, so that's why what I was assuming what's going on. So that's why I also choose that option. And. I could have made it if I had understand the fucking symbol correctly. So next time I will try to f be ready to just fucking press and try to make them to survive. And Brad, I don't know. I don't understand why and when he died. Um, so I have to re-watch that because all of a sudden I know there was a fight in the, that... Uh, Alex uh, was fighting himself, like, what a, yeah, and trolling them. Okay, what's this? He survived. Yeah, because it was it was him. We were fighting, I think, and I drowned him and he just pulled up a body or something thrashed it on the floor and that was Brad and I don't know I don't think I did any mistake with playing with Brad 
So I need to rewatch that and figure out what the fuck. Okay, here's the ship. Oh, the helicopter that we didn't actually see. Don't open the caskets. Whoa. What the hell is this? Get away, get away from here. Yeah. So this is probably the bad ending. Because these dudes are gonna spreading the disease to the rest of the world. I bet. So us two getting away with the boat. What the fuck? <laughs> oh. Okay. No. So that was what was his name? Danny. Whoever it was, they're gone. Okay. Very good. Who's there? So this is the next game. Yeah, Dark Pictures Little Hope. Yeah, and that's the one we're gonna try to chase down and play as well. So let's see some stats. Uh, I'm trying to drag this video out because it was like <laughs> the game was like over in two minutes. So trying to drag this out a little bit to uh, at least 15 minutes uh, maybe. Um, so let's see some stats. In Man and Medan, five friends set sail on a holiday diving trip that soon changes into something much more sinister. And this is Little Hope. And there's actually a third game coming out in this series. I think it was 2021 or 2022. Uh, So let's see what's under special features. Yeah, I don't think Brad actually found anyone before he just ended up dead. So. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. We found nine. We missed one, two, three, and four. And this one, I think we've found that this one must be pretty, pretty fucking early, but I don't know. So we missed four. No, oh, no. Rest wrong. So secrets. How many did we miss? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This one is hard to see. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42,
18, 19, 20, and 21. So we missed almost half. And I don't know, I, th I thought we did actually, I mean, we, we, we went everywhere, we picked up everything we saw was glowing. Uh, I think two or maybe three secrets was like, I knew they were there, but it was like timed, so I didn't have time to pick it up before something changed in the story. So we missed about three of those, I think. Uh, but yeah, I will definitely play this game one more time at least and try to make them... Uh, uh, to make them all survive. So yeah, also this would be cool play with your friends, but I don't I don't have any friends. <laughs> so yeah, I have nothing more to say about this game. It was good. It was really really good. I did enjoy it and I also did really enjoy the Until Dawn game that the same developers made. Uh I to comp compare them I know it's like um, two different games but the first game until dawn had this like less like more like this slasher horror story which really appeals to me since that's one of my favorite genres and uh, this was like a ghost story um, and I kind of like that too especially with ghost ships I love I love it uh, it's something with ghost ships that really appeals to me both in movies and uh, I mean abandoned ships uh, it's, it's it's something scary about them <laughs> And um, I really think this story was pretty cool. Um, yeah, yeah, this was actually a pretty fucking great game, and it actually made me scared a couple of times. Not all horror games do that, uh, but yeah, this one did. I really jumped a couple of times. So, I will big it, give them a big credit for that. Uh, so yeah, everything was good. Graphic-wise, I don't know. Uh, it was the same with Until Dawn. Mm, it's not bad graphics, but the faces are... It, it, they don't feel real. Uh, but I guess it's really hard to... to to do that stuff, I, I know I cannot even draw a picture on a fucking paper with a pen. So, <laughs> who am I to complain about that? But yeah, but that's the only thing um, uh, that was not super good in this game. The characters and their faces. Uh, especially, it's something with the mouth. And the smiles and the teeth, and I don't know. It was same with Until Dawn. But else, it's fucking great. Uh, the story is good, the music is good, the yeah, everything is super fine. And I will for sure hunt up the next game in this uh, anthology or whatever it's fucking pronounced. Little hope. Yeah. So, I hope to see you guys in that game. And, um, yeah, I don't think I have any more to say. So, 
this was a great playthrough I really enjoyed it and uh, I I was a little bit surprised that it was this good so if I have to put a grade on it I will give this a big and safe uh, 8 8 out of 10 <laughs> Maybe eight and a half. I don't know. Maybe. But for sure, eight. I dig it. So, yeah, that's it. Take care. Good evening. Good night. Uh, <laughs> and goodbye.